What's the story, everyone? Welcome back to Gaelic Games Fan TV. How are we all getting on? So the 2024 National Football League has concluded. It has finished. We know now the outcome. We know now who are the National Football League champions, which are obviously Derry. We know that Donegal have been promoted alongside Armagh in Division 2 with Donegal going up as champions. And we know that Westmead are going up from Division 3 as champions. And of course, they will be joining down in the process. And, of course, looking at Division 4, both Leash and Leitrim got promoted, and Leash were the ones who go up as champions. So, uh, yeah, look, a couple of weeks ago, I well, a couple of weeks ago, a couple of months ago, back in January, it only feels like a couple of weeks ago, in all honesty, but we did my 2024 National Football League predictions. I predicted where every team would finish across the entirety of the National Football League. I even predicted the points that teams uh, ended up with, which was a little bit mental, but uh, but there we go. Yeah, we predicted the entirety of the National Football League, who would get promoted, who would get relegated. And uh, in this video, what we're going to be doing is a bit of a reaction to those predictions. Obviously, I've done one of these last year after my all Ireland predictions, and I did one last year after my National Football League predictions uh, as well. I think last year, my National Football League predictions had some good moments, some very bad moments, but my all Ireland predictions were absolutely terrible. So we're going to be taking a look at my Football League predictions. Let's see how many I actually got right. Do I know what I'm talking about? Do I have any knowledge when it comes to Gaelic games? Sometimes when you look at the comments, people very much think that I don't. But to be fair, a lot of lads uh, think that I do. I actually don't know, to be honest with you. But we're going to see and we're also going to be looking at some of your lads' comments over on that video as well, because I'm also going to be holding you lads accountable. Let's see if any of you lads also got uh, multiple predictions wrong. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at who I predicted to get promoted and relegate from every division. In total, 21 predictions, uh, if we include the division league winners as well. And um, We're not going to go through absolutely every prediction, otherwise we would be here until Christmas, and I don't think anybody wants that, in fairness. So... Yeah, look, let's crack into it and let's start with who did I predict to get promoted from Division 4? Let's go. In fourth, I've gone for Wexford. You might have been looking at some of these results that I've predicted already and been thinking, how do you have Wexford in fourth, even though you're predicting them to lose to London? And the main reason... Well, Wexford obviously finished third, actually, in the end, um, but they didn't get promoted, so I was correct on that one, in fairness. Um, I'm guessing... I, I think I predicted Longford to finish third. I'm pretty confident, but let's see. Carlo before a defeat to Wexford. So only two defeats in there for Longford. And I think they're going to be very, very close to promotion in fairness. Actually, now that I look at this uh, table, obviously with the fact that there's a head-to-head -head record, uh, Wexford would actually jump up to third and Longford would jump down to fourth. So I'll correct that in the... Okay, so I was correct in putting Wexford third. This is turning now all right, to be fair. Should we just end this here? I think we should just end this here. I think, like, we've saw, we've already seen enough. I've, you know, I've got Division 4 pretty much spot on, I think. Surely I predicted Leash to win this title. Elements of pressure on Longford and Paddy Christie. Maybe not as much pressure as what's on Andy Morn with Leitrim. Ultimately, the reason why I think I'd go with Leitrim over Longford is because there's still a lot of unknowns a little bit about Longford, in my opinion. Will Paddy Christie be able to get a kick out of Longford? It's hard to know. They've looked very good in pre-season in the O'Byrne Cup yet again. I mean, they've gotten to the final of the O'Byrne Cup for a second year in a row. I mean, I don't know what it is about the O'Byrne Cup that makes Longford turn it on and play their best football. We'll go at Leitrim in second with 10 points. And when we run through their fixtures, so Waterford away, I think they'll win. London at home, I think they'll win. Wexford at home will be a defeat. They'll draw with Carlo, they'll draw with Longford, and then two vital wins towards the end of the season versus Leash and Tipperary. I mean, Leitrim did beat Wexford uh, in the end, and actually that was the reason why they got promoted. But we got there. We predicted Leitrim to get promoted, and uh, I haven't mentioned Leash yet, but let's see what I said about them. And in the first position, we have Leash, and we have Leash finishing with 12 points. I think they're going to start very strong uh, home game first up against Longford. I think they'll win. Wexford away, I think they'll win. Carlo at home, I think they'll win. Tipperary away, I think they'll win. London at home, I think they'll win. I think they'll lose at home to Leitrim. And then I think they'll beat Waterford on the uh, the final day. Yeah, I think I pretty much got this spot on, you know, because Le Leish did lose to Leitrim. Um, so there you go. Bit of a mad prediction, that. And, and even going into the game, I, I still 
back Leitrim. I just had a premonition, you know. I, I, no, I'm only joking. In all honesty, I just had a feeling, you know, it's the type of game Leitrim could win. Leash already more or less promoted. It's the type of game maybe they could switch off. Um, but there we go. Yeah, Leitrim did win that game. Obviously, Leash still, still went up as champions. But um, yeah, so we've got two predictions correct. And let's just see now if I accurately predicted Leash going up as champions. Or did I did I go for Leitrim to uh, to get the famous win in Crow Park? Let's see. In my opinion, I do think Leash will get promoted, and I think there'll be a you know a bit of a dark horse maybe for the Talchin Cup as well. In terms of what team I predict will go up as champions, I'm going to go for Leash. I think Leitrim being promoted, I think that will ultimately be their job done, um, and not that they'll switch off in time for. Connacht and, and the Talchin Cup but I just fancy Leash to be the better side playing in Crow Park so looking at Division 4 as a whole as you will see on the screen right there so Waterford at the bottom with 0 points London in 7th with 5 points Carlo in 6th with 6 points Tipperary in 5th with 7 points Wexford in yeah I mean look my Division 4 predictions I got more or less spot on I mean I predicted Leash to finish first they did Leach from 2nd Wexford and Longford both finished third and fourth. I think Carlo finished fifth. Um, so I think that's actually the only prediction I got wrong in the entirety of uh, of Division 4. It's a little bit mad because you never actually ever see any Division 4 football. So I've basically just gone off of what I've seen, obviously, in previous years, um, as well as form of players, new managers coming in and everything else. But yeah, Leash were promoted. Leach and were also promoted. Leash went up as champions. So out of three big predictions there, in the National Football League, I got correct. But in general, my Division 4 predictions were very, very good. Uh, it's probably going to go downhill from here, so I might as well enjoy it while I can. Um, so, yeah, let's let's move on to the Division 3 relegation battle. Move on to Division 3 then, and first up, we have the relegation battle down near the bottom of Division 3. And in at 8, I have Antrim with 3 points. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was it was it was going well. It was going well. We could have just ended it there, you know. My my internet's gone. You know, I've had a malfunction. I think I'm gonna have to end the video. Um, yeah, in all seriousness, a bit of a bit of. I mean, Antrim weren't a million miles off relegation. I mean, they could have got relegated had Wicklow beat them, obviously on the final day. But um, yeah, I think this is the second year in a row I've predicted Antrim to get relegated and they have survived so they're very much like my monaghan prediction of division three i bet you next year i'll predict them to stay up and they'll probably go down that's probably what's going to happen here um i know some antrim fans mightn't be uh, too happy with this one so looking at antrim's fixture list first of all so limerick away i think is going to be a defeat awfully at home will be a loss down at home, I actually think they'll win that. Uh, Sligo away will... Yeah, I, I mean, I got this horrendously wrong. Like, they beat Limerick. They also beat Offaly as well. Um, they didn't beat down. They they lost to Sligo and Westmead. I got them right. They lost to, to Clare, and then they beat Wicklow. So, yeah, overall, just a horrendous prediction here. So, we, we, we got our first one wrong. Can't get them all right, I suppose. Um, but, yeah, who did I predict? to go down we obviously know it was Wicklow and Limerick who went down so who was the other team I predicted to join Antrim in Division 4 next year in 7th I've got Wicklow with 5 points I think they'll lose to Down they'll lose to Sligo they'll lose to Westmead and they'll lose to Clare so a very slow start for Wicklow but I think they'll turn it around towards the end of the league a draw versus Offaly a win versus Limerick and a win versus Antrim but also yeah, so we did get that one right. We did predict... I mean, look, it, it was either going to be one of Wicklow or, or Limerick that uh, I predicted. There was no way I was going to predict an Offaly or, or a Sligo to get relegated. So we got one of them correct. Um, I think the, the other important part here is how much I valued Limerick because I actually backed them to stay up and, and they were actually the team that lost every game uh, in Division 3 and, and got relegated with an absolute whimper. But... Um, yeah, even looking at these fixtures here as well, like I got so much of this wrong. I mean, they, they got absolutely battered by Offaly as well, by 25 points. They did beat Limerick. I got that one right. Um, they didn't beat Antrim, though. If they had to beat them, they would have stayed up. But um, yeah, Wicklow did get relegated. I did accurately predict that. Um, I would be curious to see what did I say about Limerick because, um, yeah, Limerick obviously got relegated. I mean, it is important to remember Limerick were coming down from Division 2, I just didn't think they would be as bad as they were, in, in all honesty, you know. Um, 
But there we go. Let's let's see what I said about them. In sixth, I've gone for Limerick with six points. Some people might be surprised by this, considering Limerick were relegated from Division Two last year. Um, but again, I I think the I don't think the gap between like the bottom of Division Two and Division Three is that high, in my opinion. Um, and I think there are some there certainly are some question marks over Limerick that we're gonna need answering. Um, but ultimately, I do think they'll still stay in the division. Looking at their fixture list here. I think they'll beat Antrim on the opening day. What a, a big win that will be from a Limerick perspective. They'll lose the down. They will beat Sligo. They'll... I mean, that was really where it went downhill for, for, for Limerick. If they had a beaten Antrim, maybe they would have, you know, maybe they would have stayed up in the end. Maybe they would have had a bit more momentum. But once they lost to Antrim, in the way that they did as well, it was such a heavy defeat. They were always playing catch up um, from that very moment. And like with Limerick, obviously, Jimmy Lee. Coming in there, I um, believe he's the brother of Billy Lee, who, who would have been in charge a couple of years ago. He was the man who took them from Division 4 to Division 2. I've just no idea what's happened with Limerick. I know they've lost a couple of players here and there, but overall, for them to, like, last year in Division 2, they had a horrendous campaign, and Ray Dempsey was rushed out the door pretty much uh, in charge of Limerick. Now they have a, a local man in charge, a man who knows Limerick football inside and out, in a lower division, and they, they've regressed even further. So, and like looking at the trajectory of Limerick football, you wouldn't even fancy them right now to get out of Division Four. So, yeah, bit of a mad season for for Limerick. So that means out of uh, two predictions there, I got one correct. So in total, we're on four out of five so far, which isn't too bad. Um, but in terms of the Division Three promotion race, what did I predict here? To be fair, I feel like Division Three was a little bit more straightforward um, than, than other divisions in terms of promotion. I think a lot of people could predict down in Westmead getting promoted. Um, maybe some people slightly went for Clare or for Offaly. Offaly were, were a bit bit of dark shouts. Um, um, they were a dark show for most people, but thankfully, I don't think I went with them. But let's see, did I predict down in Westmead to get promoted? And who did I predict to win the Division 3 title? That would be an interesting one. Actually. I have both second and first finishing on 11 points. That's about Westmead and down. Westmead, I think, will have a very topsy-turvy season as they have in the last couple of years. And I do think this is the year where they do get promoted. It's a weird one with Westmead because they're they're clearly good enough to play Division 2 football. Absolutely no doubt about it. I don't know if it's imposter syndrome or something like that. Like They seem to really struggle in Division 3 against lower quality opposition. But then when they play higher quality opposition, they seem to raise their game. Like we look at... Yeah, Westmead obviously did get promoted. And um, to be honest, that sort of topsy-turvy nature of Westmead's season very much continued, um, even in recent weeks. I mean, losing to Sligo, then obviously going out and beating down in the Division 3 final. You never know what you're going to get with Westmead at the best of times, but they did get promoted. I think Division 3 was a little bit um, it was a little bit easier this year than previous years. Obviously, last season you had the likes of Cavan um, obviously in there. I mean, you know, A few years ago, you had Derry in there as an example. So, feel like it, it opened up a little bit more for Westmead in Division 3 this year and obviously for Down as well. And um, yeah, fair play to Westmead. They did, they did get promoted in fairness. Hopefully, and Sligo before a draw at Westmead and then a win versus Clare. Obviously, I'm predicting them to draw at Westmead and Down and Westmead will finish on the same amount of points. So I don't think they did finish on the same amount of points, but I was right in them two uh, drawing each other. But yeah, down to Westmead, both got promoted. I tell you what, this predictions thing is actually a little bit easy this year, lads. It's a, it's getting a bit too easy now. Um, I know once it gets to Division Two, uh, Division One, that's when everything just goes completely tits up. So uh, we might as well enjoy it while we can. But Division Three title, did I? I mean, I went with down recently in my prediction. Um, but did I have the foresight back then to go with down as well? Um, or or did I go with Westmead, who obviously did win it? Let's see. I'm going to predict that Down are more likely to uh, beat a team by more. But then again, now that I think about it, Westmead... Do you know what? We'll go with Westmead first, Down second. But I think Down will win the title. I think they'll win the Division 3 title. It's going to be interesting to see what team plays in the league for Down. And yeah, I think Down, like, keep an eye on Down. I think they're going to do good things this year. So if we throw the Division 3 table up on the screen, um, we've got Antro. Yeah, so, do you know what? I feel like I was going to go at Westmead. I was going to go down first, Westmead second, and then Westmead to go up as champions. And I feel like I just, I changed my mind right, right at the death. I changed my mind. So, 
yeah, I did predict down to go up as champions. They obviously didn't. It was Westmead that went up. I did get the, the you know the two sides promoted correct. Um, but yeah, overall, a little bit, little bit disappointing there. So in terms of my overall uh, predictions, we were obviously on what we were on five out of six. Uh, I think is what we were on, and then obviously with the, the three predictions there, we get two correct, one wrong. So eight out of ten, um, which. You know, isn't isn't the worst? The six out of eight predictions is is what we've got right there. My maths is, uh, yeah, it's not it's not always the best there. To be fair, but yeah, I mean, we got the we got one of the sides relegated incorrect. Obviously, that was Limerick and not Antrim. If we could have just swapped them around, it would have been absolutely perfect. Um, and then it was Westmead who went up as champions and not down. So we did get that one wrong. I mean, down did go in as favourites, but um, yeah, they they did lose the game in fairness. Um, some other interesting predictions. I think Sligo actually finished fourth in the end. Um, probably had awfully a little bit higher than um, they finished. I think they finished fifth in the end. Um, wasn't it? Wasn't a particularly great season by Offaly and Clare. Actually, had a very good year, um, finishing in third, very close to promotion as well. But ultimately, I got one. I got both sides promoted correct. I got one side relegated correct, but uh, one side relegated wrong, and obviously the champions of the division wrong as well. So. Let's move on to Division 2, and let's see what I predicted here. So an 8, I've gone for Fermanagh. I think they'll finish with 3 points. Uh, looking at their fixture list, I've got Mead first up away from home, and uh, I think they'll draw that game. Um, but I think they'll lose to Kildare, they'll lose to Donegal. They'll beat Cork. Um, sorry, Matthew Hurley, if you're watching. I think they'll lose to Armagh, they'll lose to Loud, and they'll lose to Cavan. I just think ultimately Fermanagh overachieved last year in getting up from Division 3. I think it was an extraordinary achievement from Kieran Donnelly. Half a matter with three points, so like I don't think they're going to be completely cut adrift or I don't think they're going to lose every game. I still think they're going to be close in a lot of these matches. And there's a few fixtures I look at, like Kildare home. Yeah, so Fermanagh obviously were relegated. They did actually finish seventh and uh, and not eighth in the end. Obviously, it was Kildare who finished eighth. But we've got one prediction correct so far in uh, Division 2. But um, yeah, Fermanagh... Yeah, for man, I looked at it, had some very, very good moments. Interesting enough, obviously, in the fixtures, um, I, I did predict them to draw with me. Did that actually was a draw, funny enough. I've got a lot of draw predictions correct here. But, um, yeah, in terms of the game versus Cork, I mean, that one was obviously the one that they lost. And funny enough, if they actually had won that, they would have, they, they, they actually probably would have stayed up. So, um, yeah, a little bit unfortunate for a Fermanagh perspective. And uh, we know it was Kildare who joined Fermanagh in the relegation battle. So let's see, did I uh, did I predict Kildare to go down? I don't think I did. I think it was another Leinster team I predicted, which, yeah, probably not the best prediction. In seventh position, I think a lot of people might be surprised by this and, and probably won't be happy, but uh, gone for Mead. I think Mead will get relegated from Division 2. I think they'll finish with five points. Looking at their fixture list, I think they'll draw the opening game against Fermat. Yeah, I feel like my predictions just go downhill after this. Like it was all good up until this point. We were doing okay, and this is this is kind of the moment now where uh, where things just go horribly wrong. Uh, I mean, look, in fairness, Mead weren't a million miles off relegation. I mean, what did they finish in the end? I think they finished fifth in the end in Division Two. Did they finish fifth? They were actually only a point above Fermanagh, so like they weren't a million miles off of uh, of promotion. I actually predicted them. To finish with uh with what four points in the end, uh, looking at them predictions there. So yeah, like it wasn't a million miles off Mead, but but to be fair, they did stay up. They they were a lot more resilient, a lot better than I expected. Um in all honesty. But look, it was very touch and go. It was very touch and go. Ramana, like I said, they'll lose to Armagh, they will beat Loud, they'll draw with Kildare. They will lose the cavern, they'll lose the core. And the reason being from a me perspective, like it's first of all, their fixture list is very, very tough. I just think for Mead, second year for Calm O'Rourke, the pressure's off them because obviously they're guaranteed to be in the All Orden series. Um, but they have a lot of moving parts, like they've a lot of younger players to come in, a lot of pieces of the jigsaw that need to be put together. I'm not entirely convinced by Calm O'Rourke in terms of tactics and everything else. I know that. And to be honest, I'd still probably stand by that statement. Like, I'm still not, like, it's a hard one to know what Comer work. Like, Mead obviously finished fifth. But, like, I think for Mead football, they want to be aspiring to 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 be getting promoted. You know, 
a county with a history of Mead, the, the the tradition of Mead, what they've obviously done in the past. They should be aspiring to, to try and get out of the division. Obviously, this year, probably a little bit different with the quality in the division. And I think the most important thing for me, to be fair, was just to avoid relegation and not go down to Division 3. But I would be very curious for any Mead fans watching, like next season, is there like is the expectation there to push for promotion? Because I look at Monaghan and Roscommon coming down. I don't think they're as good as our man Dunny Gall. And I think there there could be a chance for a Mead, for a Cork, or for someone to maybe make a bit of a push and get out of Division Two. But I'd be very curious to uh, to know your opinions down below. So I predicted Mead and Fermanagh to get relegated. We got one uh, prediction incorrect right there. Be very curious to see where did I predict. Kildare. Um, as many of you know on this channel, I've been very critical of Kildare down the years, but this is a you know prediction I got wrong. Uh, the one time I had a chance to be very critical about them, I um, I chose not to be. So let's see what I said about them. McConnell, Loud will just about sneak avoiding relegation. In fifth, I've gone for Kildare with seven points we just mentioned. Yeah, looking at their fixtures, I think they'll lose to Cavan, they'll beat Fermanagh, they'll beat Armagh, um, they'll draw with Mead. A loss versus Cork, a win versus Donegal, and a loss versus Loud. Kildare, we were mentioning Wexford earlier in terms of being a very unpredictable team and a team that has all the potential to get out of Division 4 but could easily, you know, get you know finish down near the bottom of Division 4 at the same time. I think the same applies for Kildare. I, I don't know why I said Division 4 here, by the way. Um, sometimes with these videos when you're talking for, for so long, obviously so much of this is edited out as well. So, like, usually... Like this video is fifty eight minutes long. I actually remember this was like one hour and forty five when I when I was editing the um so yeah, probably there are a few moments in these videos sometimes where you're like, What you know, I've completely messed it up. But <laughs> obviously I meant division two, but there we go. I think they've got a huge amount of options and players and they could really kick on this year and get out of division two in my opinion it's it's more than than possible like they've got a lot of good players paddy woodgate alex Byrne, daniel flynn you'll have jimmy hyland coming back in maybe you'll have some under 20 players to come into the side uh, as well obviously won the under 20 all Ireland last year kildare look they have a lot of potential absolutely no doubt about it and the fact that i'm predicting them to beat armagh but lose to Cavan, like that's kind of where Kildare have been at in the last couple of years. When they play a team who are of you know high quality, they'll get up for it. They'll put in a big performance. But when they play a team of lesser quality, they'll they'll lose. You know, and that's just the way it's been for Kildare the last couple of years. In fourth, I've gone for Cavan also. So there we go. Yeah, I predicted Kildare to finish fifth. They obviously finished eighth in the end. They lost every game in the National Football League. Um. Yeah, like, uh, like Kildare have obviously been on the decline in the last two seasons, really, under Glenn Ryan, especially last year. It was very evident. But, like, let's not forget Kildare were very close to getting to an all on a quarter final last year. They beat Russ Common, uh, as we remember, in the in the group stages. They then had that game versus Monaghan that they very nearly uh, won. If you think back to the Leinster Championship last year, they, they very narrowly lost to Dublin as well. So, yeah, it's been a little bit mad, uh, Kildare season. I never expected them to be this poor. Uh, never expected them to lose every game. And yes, they've had injuries and everything else, and there's been a few problems along the way. But for them to lose every game in Division 2 is is absolutely criminal stuff. And you just wonder where Kildare football is at. Like, I know a lot of people think they'll come straight back up next year um, and, you know, they'll be favourites for the Talchin Cup or whatever, and they could still get to a Leinster final. I'm just not entirely sure about that, to be honest with you. I'm not entirely sure about that. And I think it's, um, yeah, a disastrous season for Kildare and certainly one that they'll want to forget. So overall then, I'm on 7 out of 10 predictions correct. I accurately predicted one side to get relegated there, which was for Mana. Instead, I went with Mead uh, instead of Kildare. But um, yeah, you know, may maybe my geography got the better of me there maybe i meant kill there that's that's definitely yeah that's definitely what i meant so uh, in terms of the promotion obviously donegal and armagh we know got promoted donegal went up as champions let's see what i said here i've got a feeling i've got an absolute howler here i really do i mean like armagh at this stage want to be challenging for an all-ireland and winning an ulster title like that's the ultimate aim for this armagh side yeah like they, they've obviously got we know some of the talent they have in connor turbot rian o'neill rory grugan's very good you've got jardy o'burns who's 
going to be staying on uh, after after all that. Keen McConville has been really knocking on the door in terms of coming into this team the last couple of years. Ushin O'Neill is going to be a huge uh, reintroduction back into the team he's been missing in the last two seasons. Look, I think Armagh will be in third, so I still think they're going to be you know there thereabouts in terms of promotion. But I just have a sneaky feeling towards the end of the league, they'll take their eye off the ball with the focus on the Ulster Championship. And I think that Cork away game is so huge. I fancy Cork to get promoted. I do. I think Armagh, I still think they could maybe go on and win Ulster, but I think they're going to miss out on promotion. And it's- Absolute disaster. I predicted Cork to get promoted. Um, Cork finished fourth in the end with seven points, but you'll remember they lost the opening three games of the league um, and they were actually looking like they could potentially get relegated, let alone be anywhere near promotion. Um, Armagh probably have taken their focus off of things a little bit in the last couple of games. Interesting enough with, with, with the Ulster Championship coming up, but I think ultimately, yeah, like Armagh were very... I mean, Armagh finished five points in front of the side who finished third. Cavanaugh also finished with seven points. Donegal finished six points above them. So, like, Armagh and Donegal absolutely breezed uh, promotion. Yeah, predicting Cork to get relegated. Again, like, looking back at last season, they got to an all quarter quarterfinal. I really thought they'd carry the momentum into the division. I thought their fixture list to begin with was very favourable. Obviously, playing Cavan early on, I, I thought they would have got something from that. I thought they would have got something... Um, against Armagh on the final day um, against Fermanagh. Um, I actually predicted them to lose that and then they won it. But yeah, ultimately predicting Cork to get promoted, that's a massive L, massive L. And second, I've got Cork with 10 points, as we were saying right there. In terms of their fixture list, Dunny all away, I think it's going to be a defeat. Loud and Cavan, they will win. They'll lose to Fermanagh. They will beat Kildare. They'll beat Mead and they'll beat Armagh. One thing you're probably looking at, at that on that fixture list is why on earth am I predicting them to lose to Fermanagh? I just think we've seen this with Cork so many times down the years. They will go away to a team they're expecting to win quite comfortably and then get beat. I do think John Cleary has earned... And, and that was what happened at the very beginning for Cork. I mean, they lost to Donegal, which which, which fair enough, I, I did predict that correctly. I think most people could have saw that coming. But the, those defeats to Cavan and Loud, like they really did set Cork back and... If Cork had have got something from them games, maybe they might have, maybe there might have been something to play for when they played Armagh uh, on the final day. But yeah, it's a hard one to know with Cork. It's very hard to know where they're at overall going into the championship as well because they finished the season strongly. But overall, you would have expected Cork to make a bit more of a stab of promotion, and they really didn't, which I think was uh, was very disappointed. So through the process of elimination, uh, we know that I predicted Donegal to get promoted. Um, did I predict them to go up as champions? Hopefully I did to spare some blushes with uh, some very poor predictions in this division. So yeah, let's see what I said about Donegal. And then in first, I've got Donegal. So in terms of Donegal's fixtures then, I think they'll beat Cork. I think they'll beat Cavan. They'll beat Fermanagh. They'll draw with Armagh. They'll beat Loud. They'll draw with Kildare. Donegal will start the league like an absolute steam train. Uh, if you look at some of their results in pre-season, they have started like an absolute house on four. Oshin Gallen looks in the form of his life. I think he scored something like 4-7 or 4-8 so far in pre-season. And look, pre-season's a weird barometer. I don't think you can take it too seriously. But one thing we know from Donegal, from looking at them in pre-season, is that they're going to start very, very strong. And... They're going to come out come out of the blocks really, really strong, in my opinion. They've got Michal Langan, Caleb McGonagall, Jamie Brennan's back in the fold as well. Patrick McBurthy's obviously back from injury. Yeah, Donegal are, are certainly dark horses uh, in terms of the All-Ireland, in my opinion, in terms of getting to like a semi-final or something like that. Yeah, Jim McGuinness has got a real kick out of Donegal so far in pre-season in terms of like them putting up some of the scores that they're putting up. They'll get promoted pretty comfortably. I think they'll go up as champions as well. So ultimately then, if we look at the uh, Division 2 table of what I've predicted for Man... So there we go. I predicted Donegal to go up as champions, and they were. Uh, they did go up as champions. Um, happy days, happy days. You can't go wrong with that. I didn't predict... That, predict, that, predict that, what am I saying? What the hell was that? I did... I did not predict them to uh, win the game versus Armagh um, a couple, you know, last week or whatever. I thought Armagh would beat them. But that's besides the point. We predicted Donegal to go up as champion. So we get two out of the three predictions correct there. I mean, it hasn't been too bad. Like looking at it here, nine out of 12 predictions 
correct so far, which uh, actually, no, that's incorrect. That's nine out of 13 predictions correct so far, on which I don't think is that bad. Look, I don't think it's that bad, but Division One, yeah, this is, you know, if we could just end it here, that'd be perfect. You know, we could we could end it on a respectable manner, but instead we have to look at Division One and... Yeah, Division One. I got so much wrong. It's uh, it's embarrassing. It's it's absolutely embarrassing. There's no other way around it. Eight. I've gone for Tyrone. Um, Tyrone have been playing with four in Division One for a couple of years now, and I think this is the year where they get relegated. Looking at their fixture list, I think they'll lose to Roscommon. They'll lose to Derry. They'll lose to Galway. They'll beat Mayo. They'll draw with Kerry. They'll lose to Monaghan, and then they will lose to Dublin. Fergal Logan and Brian Dewher are staying on, but they don't have Ronan McNamee. He's retired. Noel Sludden is opted out. Matty Donnelly's also injured as well. You combine that with the multiple players who have opted out in the last couple of years and have made themselves unavailable. I just... Yeah, just just an absolutely horrendous take. Absolutely no doubt about it. I mean, Tyrone did show plenty of inconsistency in Division 1. There's absolutely no doubt about it. They finished fifth in the end with six points, but they were more than comfortable in terms of staving off relegation, they didn't really. I mean, if they had a loss to Monaghan in that game, um, you know, in the second last game of Division One, maybe then they could have potentially been relegated, um, or, or they probably would have actually considered. And they played Dublin on the final day, but yeah, look, overall, I mean, I, like it's mad. I, I predicted Tyrone to win the All Ireland a couple of years ago when they actually won it. Um, I made a video like around the start of that year talking about how Tyrone could end. Dublin's dominance and albeit look it was Mayo who beat Dublin that year but Tyrone still won the All-Ireland since then every prediction about Tyrone has been completely like miles off like I predicted them last year to get to the All-Ireland final that didn't happen and I predicted them to get relegated this year and that hasn't happened either so um yeah I, maybe I should just leave Tyrone out of my All-Ireland predictions um that would probably make a lot of people happy in fairness um I think this image of myself right here very much sums up my Division 1 predictions. Um, I might even screenshot that as a thumbnail, to be honest with you. Oh, God. And then we have the relegation battle, and this was a tough one. Uh, this was a tough one, because I'm going to be honest, Like looking at my Division 1 table here, it's, it's going to be a little bit chaotic. I've got two points separating the team that gets relegated in seventh and the team that finishes in second. There's a case for anyone to get into a league final, and I think there's a case for anyone... To get relegated. One team I would be very confident that doesn't get relegated is Kerry. But all other six teams, I genuinely think you could make a case for any of them to get relegated and a case for any one of them to get promoted. The team I predict to get relegated with Toronto is Mayo. Galway away, that'll be a loss. Oh, disaster. Disaster, man. Dublin at home, that'll be a loss. They'll draw with Kerry. They'll lose to Toronto. They'll beat Ross Common and they'll beat Derry. And they'll draw with Monaghan on the final day. But ultimately, that will be what costs them. And as we as we know with Monaghan, they have an awful habit of producing a big result on the final day of a National Football League season. And I think they will do it again. Mayo, for me, have gone very strong in the league in the last couple of years. And it's come back to bite them in the backside in the championship because their main focus, let's be honest, is to try to do something in the All-Ireland. Like, that's the main focus, even winning Connacht. I don't necessarily think they they care all that much about winning the All Ireland. Like that's the one they want to focus on. So I just think Mayo second year for Kevin McStay. You know we know what Mayo has brought to the table for the last couple of years in terms of how they play football, the style of football, the personnel that they have. So I think they're gonna. And I don't think necessarily that Mayo's style or, or way of playing football has changed considerably from last season. Like it is interesting with Mayo that they finished with eight points in the end, four wins, three defeats. Yeah, they were never, ever in doubt of, of relegation, let's be honest. They won their opening two games as well, didn't they? They beat Galway, and then they obviously beat Dublin, so there was never any worries at all about Mayo in terms of uh, in terms of relegation. Look, it was one of them where, I, like, I don't think Mayo are, like, if you were to rank all the teams in the country, I don't think Mayo are, like, the seventh best team in the country, you know? I'd probably put them maybe five, maybe four, you could, you could argue. Um, but I just felt that Mayo would not, be at the races in the league considering like after what happened last year I just thought they'd rest and rotate quite heavily I didn't expect them to go as strong as they did to begin with and, and certain fixtures to begin with I thought they would struggle in but um no look fair play to Mayo they they dug it out 
They stayed in the division. It was probably the perfect league campaign for them, in all honesty, where they tipped along very quietly. There was never really any fuss about them getting relegated. There was never really much chat about them getting into the league final. And I think for Mayo fans overall, like they'll be happy with how this year has gone. It's been a very quiet year, which I think suits Mayo because sometimes things can get, can get very chaotic with Mayo in terms of everyone predicting them to have a great year and then things can dip. So, you know, they'll be going into the Connick Championship and going into the all Ireland series very under the radar, which I think ultimately will suit them. So, look, in terms of relegation, we know it was Monaghan and Roscommon who got who went down. I predicted Mayo and Tyrone. Two predictions incorrect. It leaves me at 9 out of uh, 15. Let's see what I said about Monaghan and Roscommon anyways, because, uh, well, look, they both stayed up. And, uh, yeah, or, or they both got relegated, I should say. And I predicted them to stay up. So, yeah, absolutely disastrous. I'm going to mix it up a bit. I think they're going to try things different than the league. They're going to try out a lot more younger players. They're going to rotate quite the Derry on the final day. Some caveats with Russ Common that I think you could also apply to Mayo in terms of they went very strong in the league last year. And they could also, they could, therefore, a result sort of just you know, take their foot off the pedal a little bit. But I do think at the same time, staying in Division 1 would be of uh, huge importance to Davy Burke and Roscommon, considering the work they put in last year. And it would feel like a step backwards if they got relegated. Kieran Mirth has obviously opted out. That's going to be a huge loss. Ben O'Carroll might be missing for a couple of games with the fact that Bridget's got to the All-Ireland Club football final. We'll still have German Murta. We'll still have Enda Smith. Um, bulk of younger Derry. I think they'll lose to Roscommon. They'll draw again with Galway. They'll beat Tyrone, and then they'll draw again with Mayo. Three draws. Because a lot of these teams are so even, that's the reason why you do get a lot of draws and close games and everything else, because you've got every team essentially playing at their own level, if that makes sense. They're obviously not going to have Rory Began. He's gone to the NFL. And Carl Gallagher, who's gone to the AFL. Uh, Connor McManus will be missing in the early parts of the league, according to reports. They do have some other good players as well, like Sean Jones, I think, has looked good in preseason. Connor McCarthy, I've been impressed with, obviously, um, last year moving into a more wingback role. And I do think Vidi Corey ultimately will get enough out of this Monaghan side to do enough to stay in the division. And look, I've got them a point off of getting to a league final. Like a, another result here, like if they were to get a win versus Roscommon, which I haven't predicted. Yeah, let's just cut myself off there, say no more. I mean, like, I predicted Monaghan to finish fifth. I predicted Russ Common to finish sixth. I wasn't a million miles off of them getting relegated. Um, it was the obvious one. Like, the obvious prediction at the start of the year was to predict Monaghan and Russ Common to go down. Like, on paper, they are probably the two weakest teams in Division One, um, even before a ball was kicked this year. But it was just one of them where Monaghan and Russ Common, like, last season they caused so many surprises, so many shocks. I really expected better. From Russ Common under Davy Burke this year, I thought they'd be like they were very, very flat. Um, and I feel like Russ Common don't have the same level of of reasons for going down as Monaghan. Like for Monaghan, you can kind of understand that a lot of players have obviously left. Um, they've had a, a good few injuries as well. Obviously, McManus, McCarthy, and those lads didn't come back in really in, uh, towards the end of the league. So yeah, overall, very disappointing for both Monaghan. And Ross Common. Um, so yeah, two very disappointing predictions there. Let's get to the league final. Did I get anything right here? Let's see. And certainly in the early part of the league, Dublin are going to be vulnerable, and that's why I think Monaghan might nick a draw and, and could possibly win that game, to be fair. In terms of players to come in, I think Theo Clancy could be a big player for, for Dublin and he could be a long-term replacement for Mick Fitzsimons. Um, obviously Kim Michael Crokes were only beaten a couple of weeks ago, so maybe it's in the latter part of the league that we see him come in. I think it will be between Galway and Derry. And originally I was going to go with Galway. I fancy Derry to nick it. And I think ultimately it will come down to a head-to-head -head record. So I think Galway, I've got them with eight points. Looking at their fixtures, I think they'll beat Mayo. They'll draw with Russ Common. They'll beat Tyrone. They'll lose to Derry. They'll draw with Monaghan. They'll beat... Yeah, I predicted I predicted Dublin to finish fourth and I predicted Galway to finish third. Um, thank God. I was very close to putting Galway in the final. Thank God I didn't do that because at least... At the very least, I got Derry to... Uh, I did predict them to get to the league final, thank God, because uh, otherwise Division 1 would have been an absolute write-off. Um, Galway, to be fair, finished, what, sixth in the end? Um, again, very 
overall quite a disappointing year for Galway in the league. I suppose missing Walsh and Comer for large parts and no real beat Dublin and then they will but, lose uh, to Kerry. On- but there we go. Uh, league final. I predicted Derry. Did I predict Derry to win it against Kerry? I predicted Kerry to get there as well. Before, I think Derry will be the team that finishes in the league final with eight points as well. Um, so the same amount of points as Galway, but I think it will be that win versus Galway that ultimately takes them to the final uh, on the basis of the head-to-head record. Looking at their fixture list, I think they'll lose the open day against Kerry. They will beat Tyrone. They will lose to Monaghan. They will beat Galway. They will beat Dublin. They'll lose to Mayo, and then they will beat Roscommon. Uh, yeah, I got nearly... I think I got nearly every prediction wrong here, I think. Um, they beat Kerry. They did beat Tyrone. They beat Monaghan. They beat Galway. They definitely beat Galway. They lost to Dublin. They beat Mayo, then beat Russ Common. So um, yeah, a lot of a lot of predictions incorrect here. The loss to Mayo, considering I think Mayo will go down, might be a bit of a surprise. But I do think that um, Derry maybe just might just start shifting towards the Ulster Championship. Um, I still think they'll have enough to beat Russ Common on the final day as well. With Russ Common very much probably already being safe by that point. Obviously, Mickey Hart coming in. There is question marks like, will Derry go as strong in the league as they have under Rory Gallagher previously? I don't think they actually will, to be fair. I think there'll be a bit more rotation, but I still think they'll have enough to get results and have enough to get to a league final. Their key players will play, like those lads back. They'll kick on, they'll get results, and they'll do enough to get to the final. And then in first, I've gone for Kerry. I've got them finishing with 10 points, and I also think they will be the champions as well. Obviously, for people who saw... My 2024 GA predictions, this won't come as that much of a surprise. But I think they'll beat Derry. I think they'll beat Monaghan. I think they'll draw with Mayo. I think they'll beat Dublin. They'll draw with Toronto. They'll lose to Roscommon. And then they will. Yeah, I gave te- I gave Kerry too much credit. I gave Kerry too much credit. I think, uh, I just, yeah, like because I suppose when Kerry won the league a couple of years ago, they 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 went on to win the All-Ireland in, in that same season. And I really did feel that Kerry were going to come out at the start of the league and really lay down a, a marker. Um, but yeah, there was a lot of very disappointing results in there. Losing to Derry, losing to Dublin was obviously, um, in the way that they did it, very, very surprising, um, especially considering you would have expected them to, to want revenge and everything else. But yeah, just uh, completely overestimated Kerry going into the league. They probably, they rested a lot of players early on. Um, I don't, you know, obviously they... They've gone to a training camp in, in Portugal right now as well. So they didn't want the league final whatsoever. Um, and yeah, completely, completely got this one wrong. We'll beat Galway. Uh, I think Kerry will go strong in the league, especially at the early part of the league. Hence why I think they'll win three of their opening five games um, and they'll pick up two draws in that process as well. I think David Clifford will come back in. Um, Sean O'Shea's been playing in preseason. Kerry haven't had as many club commitments as previous years. So I think they will go stronger in the league. And I do think as well, Kerry will have a point to prove. Look, I think they'll be hurting over that all on a final loss. I think when they play Dublin and Crow Park, for example, they'll be absolutely chomping up a bit. And I could see them. Yeah, I'm going to cut myself off here again. We don't need to see any more. We know, we know that's enough. That's enough. Stop the tape. Stop the count. Oh, dearie me. So in total then, 10 out of 18 predictions. Uh, I think I said 21 at the start. I can't count. Um, I also can't predict very much, so there we go. Uh, yeah, out of 18 predictions, I got 10 correct. Um, it started well. Division 4 was very good. Division 3 was all right as well. And then as soon as I predicted me to get relegated, the football gods have come for me. They ha- they absolutely have. And uh, yeah, just not a, not a great uh, division. Division 1 was absolutely horrendous. I mean, I, I got both sides relegated wrong. And then I also got... The um, you know, I predicted Derry to get to a league final, but I didn't predict them to win it. Um, and I didn't even predict Dublin to get to a league final, which um, which which there you go. I think Dublin's league campaign did surprise me ever so slightly. Didn't think we'd look as good as we did. So yeah, there we have it. That's uh, that's me reacting to my predictions. Let's see what some of you lads actually said. Um, in the comment section of that video, because uh, I'm always curious to see. Did anyone else get any other predictions absolutely terribly? Or, or maybe it's just me. Maybe it's uh, it's just me. So uh, we can scroll down here. Um, 
Mikey says you should make a background with all the county crests. We're working on something like that. I've just been I've just been busy, just been busy, but hopefully we'll do that. Thomas Keane with some predictions here. Derry and Kerry both uh both in one and two, Kerry League champions, Dublin three, Mayo and Toronto. Your predictions were very similar to mine and were both uh equally terrible. You did predict Armagh to get promoted, so you got that one up with me. But they didn't win they didn't win the title. They lost to uh to Donegal and you predicted Loud and Fermanagh to get relegated. Loud obviously did uh, did stay up. Um, which I did predict correctly. Um, but yeah, Kildare, you predicted Kildare to finish third. Wow. Yeah, I think we all very much overestimate Kildare. Down Westmead, you got that one right. They did Westmead did go up as league champions. Antrim and Limerick to go down, and Division Four Leach to go up as as league champions, and Longford to uh, to be promoted. Um, so yeah, look, I mean, you got a few of them right there. But again, look, the great thing about predictions is that we're all we're all wrong at some point, aren't we? Like if we got every prediction right, it would just be boring, wouldn't it? Um, you know, but there we go. Ty with a lovely comment there. Appreciate that. Killian, if there's a football team to miss miss out, it's Tony Gold. I'd be more likely to look at the Ulster Championship than Armagh. Yeah, look, I mean, Tony Gold were promoted in the end, but I do get your points. Um and um and to be fair, Armad did get promoted, so I was I was completely off with uh with that. And this says good video, but me aren't going down. We'll be in the mix for promotion, I think. Panels getting stronger with young players coming in and they're being better coached. Um I'd agree with the last part. I think they are looking slightly better under under calmer work. Um they look they, they seem a lot more resilient, a lot more physical, but I suppose we were probably both wrong i don't think they were ever in the mix for promotion and to be fair i don't really think they were ever in the mix for relegation uh dermot says it's going to be tough for monaghan to stay up along with Began and gallagher kieran hughes is retired and shane carey connor Boyle are taken away from the panel that's five potential starters gone from the panel um for team with enough tin panel um yeah and at the end there you are talking about uh, Division 1 is a hard place to learn your trade, so relegation to Division 2 might be the worst thing. So there we go. Some Monaghan fans had the had the foresight to see it. Uh, Gavin says here, Division 1, Kerry and Derry, um, Mayo and Tyrone to go down as well, Donegal and Cork, Loud and Fermanagh to go down, Division 3, Westmead and down, Limerick and Wicklow, um, and in Division 4, Leitrim. And Longford, so um, yeah, you got a few, you got a few off there. Uh, you got Limerick and Wicklow right in Division Three, to be fair, which which many others did. I mean, they're similar enough to my to my predictions. Didn't predict Leash to get promoted though, but there we go. What does Mikey say? Derry, there we go. We have someone who predicted Derry to win the league. Mikey got it correct. Um, Monaghan in the run, in, in as runners up. We'll leave we'll leave that part out. We won't uh, we won't mention that. Um, Toronto Roscommon to go down. Armad Donegal to come up, Kildare for Mana to go down. You got that right. You got that right. I think I think you might be the and you got Roscommon to go down as well. Division three down in Westmead, Offaly and Wicklow. The Offaly one sounded like a bit of a mad one at the time, but you weren't a million miles off Leash and Longford to uh to get promoted. Yeah, so there we go. Uh this person here says Mayo and Derry. Uh, Mayo to go up as League champions are Matt Donegal, Down Westmead, Leash Longford. Um, yeah, probably a probably a few on. Leanne says, fairly wrong about Mayo so far, but nothing new there. Thanks, Leanne. Thanks. Yeah, just just you know, like step on my grave while you can there. Um, thanks for just sound. Nice one. Just throw just throw that one in there. I bet you you wish I was right last year, though. Yeah, you, you definitely do. You definitely do. But there we go. Uh, Callum says na National League predictions Kerry and Derry Tyrone and Russ Common to go down almost everyone predicting Tyrone uh, but there we go Division 2 Armand Donegal to be promoted for Mana and Mead to go down Division 3 Westmead and down Limerick and Wicklow to go down and Division 4 Leash and Longford Ben says Mead 7th is harsh yeah probably was ever so slightly slightly harsh uh, Kerry be Kerry. Yeah, there's probably a few parts of this video where uh where there we go. Uh Nosa says, Tell me you hate Ulster Counties without telling me you hate Ulster Counties. Um yeah, like I I I, I think I responded to that comment saying I, I don't get what you mean. And to be fair, look, I predicted I predicted Fermanagh to go down. They did go down. I predicted Monaghan to stay up. 
they they didn't stay up. Um, yeah, I don't know. You, you can't please everyone, I suppose. Sometimes, uh, but there we there we have it. Um, so yeah, there we have it. There are my predictions. Some of your lads' predictions in there as well. I think only one person accurately predicted uh, Derry to win the league. So fair play to you. And uh, we will be doing the All Ireland Football Championship predictions uh, tomorrow or Thursday at the latest. Obviously, the championship is like what in a few days. It's they really need to space it out. It's a little bit ridiculous, isn't it? We hardly have had a chance to digest the league. And now we're going straight in to the championship. Absolutely no messing about. Uh, in some ways, it's great because like the football just keeps coming. You have so much to look forward to. But on the other hand side, it's like I wouldn't have minded. Like, let's have the, the Hurling League final this weekend as a standalone event. And then we crack into the championship the next week. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, logic does seem to go out the windows at the best of times with the GA. But there we go. So ultimately, 10 out of 18 predictions correct. Um, I'm curious, actually. How many did I get right last year? Um, I'm actually going to go back and have a quick look at this. So you're not going to believe this. I just I just went back to see. Um, so I was I was I was reacting to myself, reacting to my 2023 football predictions. Some inc- insane level of inception going on here. But I got 10 predict- predictions correct last year, and I've got 10 correct this year. So uh, there we go. There we go. I haven't I haven't even done better. I've completely broke even. I haven't got worse though, which and that's the most important thing because. Because there we go. But uh, anyway, we'll wrap this up here. Anyone who tuned in, hit the like button and subscribe. The uh, All Ireland Football Predictions video will come out in a few days. So you can have a laugh at me there again. Because, uh, yeah, undoubtedly, I'll probably get most things wrong there as well. So, yeah, cheers anyone who tuned in. And we'll chat to you all soon.